Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw in this video, we are looking at the Handy Bright 2-in-1 Ultra Bright Flashlight. You know what? Enough talking about this product. Let's get right into the review. Check this out. The Handy Bright brand has released a new item. This is their LED work light and spotlight. And check this out. We have two other Handy Bright products that I've also reviewed. I'm excited to look at this one. These two ran on batteries. So let's see what happens here. Let's do a quick unboxing. Wow, here is our Handy Bright Spotlight. You can see we have some sort of a tripod where we can have this upside down. We have our directions and I read through them. This takes three C batteries. Who carries C batteries anymore? And those C batteries are not included. You can see down there we have one lonely LED and it's surrounded by a reflective cone. Right here is our on off button. I do like that this has a rubberized grip. Of course, back here is where we put our C batteries. Let's get some of those and pop this in. Didn't really tell us how we were supposed to put them in, so I just um, did it according to where the springs are. This spring was down, and these two are up. Let's put our lid on. I found this part to be a bit challenging, where if you put it on wrong, it just pops off. So I put it down here on this side, and then I push down till I hear it click, and make sure it's locked into place here, otherwise it won't work. Now for a moment of truth, let's turn this on. Of course, we have a... I guess the initial beam is high. We hit it again, it goes dim, and then dimmer yet. And of course, then it turns off. What does it do next? It comes right back on, very cool. There also is an SOS mode, so I'm gonna warn you right now, in about five seconds, we're gonna have some blinking going on here. So to activate it, you push the power on button, then you quick do a double click, and then you enter your SOS mode where the blinking light is. Of course, to turn that off, you just click it off again. Now we're gonna show off the tripod feature, and of course, you just slide it in here. This little tab will come out the other end. Oop, I'll line it up correctly. There we go. And you can click it into place. Now you can just open up the legs right there, set it down and have your very own floodlight. I will say the tripod, you can actually lock it closed by spinning it. And there you can see that I can't open the legs. It doesn't really make sense to try to stand this like this because it will not stand. And if you spin it all the way to the right, the legs can open. I get the idea of wanting to have a stationary floodlight, but why didn't they incorporate the stand into the existing handle? That to me would have made sense and been a whole lot more convenient. Now I have to carry around this weird tripod and install it when I need to use it. Since this is a flashlight floodlight combo, we are gonna test it out at night. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the newest flashlight from Handy Bright? Do you like it? Not so much. Are you gonna get it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Here we are outside and we wanna try our Handy Bright to see, well, <laughs> what we can see. Let's turn the light on. All right, so it definitely illuminates the area. That tree that we can see in the distance there is about 40 feet away, so that's not so bad. There's another tree down that way just out of our view here on the camera, but I can see it in person. Let's go down to see what dimmer looks. Oh yeah, not as good. It's better in person than it is on video. Let's go one last again. Yeah, you can sort of see things, but it definitely is not as bright as it was on full setting. As I've been using the Handy Bright, I think, yeah, it is pretty bright and I can see things, but recently I reviewed the TAC Light Max. Let's turn that on to see how it compares. We're looking at that tree. Wow, do you see how bright the TAC Light Max is compared to the Handy Bright? Let's get a side by side. As you can see on the right, we have our handy bright work light. And yeah, it is kind of bright. And I can see that tree that's 40 feet away. But if you look on the left, that's our TAC light max. And it is, whoa, a whole lot brighter and illuminates the area much better. If we point out a few things from the box, it tells us this is 650 lumens. It also says that it's a 360 degree tripod, which makes you think you can spin this, right? Well, if you notice, that's as far as I can go. I guess if I just spin the tripod around, it'll go 360 degrees, but then any light would do that. To show you the floodlight version, I don't really understand what you would do with this. I guess you can put it on a table and light a work surface. Right now, I just have it on the ground and it's lighting up a tree. I wanted to show you the angle that the tripod allows the flashlight or the floodlight to shoot out. It's kind of frustrating that they have this tripod, but you cannot adjust it. You just have that one angle and from right behind the floodlight you can see that yeah we can light up that tree a little bit but it doesn't go very high let's see if i can get it tilted back it goes up right about maybe six or eight feet up into that tree that's as high of an angle as you get with the tripod 
I wanted to give you a different view instead of looking at the trees, what it would be like looking at a structure. So here we are outside the house. This is of course with the handy right. Let's do a side by side once again with the tack light max. You can see just the power and brightness difference of the two flashlights. I know this really wasn't a competition between the handy bright work light spotlight combo and the Bell and Howell tack light max, but you saw the tack light max was much brighter. It is about $10 more when you purchase it at a store, but I did not mention this in this video, but the tack light max is completely rechargeable. So when it goes dead, you can charge it right back up. Whereas the handy bright, I have to get C batteries every time this goes dead. In this video, we were taking a look at the Handy Bright Ultra Bright 2-in-1 flashlight floodlight combo. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about price. It came right in at a typical As Seen on TV price point of 20 bucks, and you know how much I appreciate that. I like the idea of this flashlight, especially the floodlight combo in there, because I do think there are applications for something like that. I just think that the execution in this particular unit wasn't very well. My thoughts, just like I said earlier, having that tripod built in the handle may have made this a little more user friendly. Plus, you can adjust the angle of the tripod to get it to shine on whatever you're trying to light up. I do think it's interesting that they went with C batteries instead of using a rechargeable unit or double A's because both of those would have been more convenient for the consumers who will be buying this. As I tested the light, yes, it was bright, but not near as bright as other lights out there on the market. I did show one particular one that I reviewed not that long ago. So you can see that, yeah, it's kind of bright. It lights things up, but it doesn't match to other flashlights. I am a person who likes to be prepared for whatever. And you know what? I actually was reviewing this during a recent power outage and it came in really convenient. I use this and other lights, but it was definitely something that we use. So in my opinion, having something like this on hand is pretty important. Anyway, that was my full review of the Handy Bright 2-in-1 floodlight flashlight combo. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. As I'm finishing my morning cup of coffee, I wanted you to see one last thing. I'm not sure if there's some sort of a wiring issue or what, but I've noticed that if the light gets hit like that, it turns off. Now, the first few times it happened, I thought I had hit the button to shut it off with my hand, but really, it's when it takes a hit to the light, it just shuts off. That, to me, was a little frustrating. Makes me think, man, this wasn't really manufactured very well. You may have noticed these sweet coasters, and they were actually a gift from my sister. She purchased them from a company called 607 Woodworks, so I looked them up and checked out their website, and yep, they make a whole lot of things out of wood and other materials, and custom engraving is their thing, and I thought it was pretty cool. If you're interested in having something engraved, I will leave their link down in the description. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of this Handy Bright Ultra Bright 2-in-1 flashlight. You know what? During this video, I actually referenced my Bell & Howell Tack Light Max. It's a review I did not that long ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that review right up here. But if you've already seen that one, I'm going to link one of my Handy Bright reviews right over here. And I would love it if you would click on one of these links. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you right here or right there. So go ahead. Click one, they're safe, I promise.